Oh, hey you. It's Gunny here. Thanks for stopping by. And yeah, it's like the title of the video says. I'm playing EverQuest Classic in 2017 for free. Or also known as AKA Project 1999. And, uh, because I tried, I played EverQuest uh, back in the day when my friend bought it for me. He's like, oh, dude, you gotta play this game. I'm like, whatever, I don't care about those types of games or whatever. And uh, it was the only type of, you know, first or third person 3D MMO really to come out back then. And he showed me the graphics and everything. And he was walking around the desert. And I'm like, ah, it looks boring. But then he went ahead and bought me the game. And then, like, six months later, I was still wandering around lost in the desert. Uh, for playing EverQuest six months straight <laughs> and going strong. Uh, I never really was pro at it or anything, but um, I did have a, a lot of fun just, you know, exploring in an open world game, a big open world game like that uh, at the time was really the only thing. And uh, so, you know, when you play a game that you liked or whatever, you always have like a special place in your memory for that game and your version of that game. And then, of course, they upgraded EverQuest over the years and changed it. And, like, oh, we made better graphics and, like, slightly better, maybe, but whatever. Uh, the the whole gameplay mechanics and style are completely foreign to me compared to what I was used to uh, in the original classic EverQuest. So when I uh, found out about Project 1999, I'm like, oh, that sounds cool. Um, I wasn't really enthusiastic about it back then or anything because I wasn't, like, a hardcore EQ player, like I said. But, uh, so I went ahead and tried it anyways and got it set up, and it really feels and looks a lot like the original EverQuest did. And, uh, this is my favorite version, or flavor of the game. So, yeah, I used to play on the Sarirn server, or Sarirn, or Sarirn, however you like to say it, S-A-R-Y-R-N. But uh, <clears throat> back then, I didn't know a lot about the classes, and so I looked through them briefly, and I, oh, Shadow Knight, that sounds kind of cool, because you're like a warrior, plus you get an attack pet. But um, in reality, uh, the Shadow Knight was neither a good, solid warrior by himself, or neither was the pet a good, solid attack pet by itself. You were you know, a combination of two halves to make a good whole. Um, but even then, at lower levels, at least for me, you know, level 30 and below, uh, he never really was OP in any sense. So after a while, I just kind of got pissed of playing the SK, and I went to a wizard, and then I instantly uh, had a much more rewarding leveling experience. I could level much faster as a wizard. I was dying less. It was pretty straightforward for me to play a wizard than it was for the more advanced and complicated class of the Shadow Knight. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, now that they have Project 1999, which is classic EverQuest for free, you can play whatever characters you want and have as many of them as you like, practically, because it's free. So... You can get to play all the classes. I think one of the classes I'm going to play next is of um, what is the uh, is that healer that can uh, cast the uh, Spirit of Wolf spell that makes you run a lot faster. Oh, God, I can't think of the name. It's like Mystic or whatever they call it. I can't even remember now. I have to go back to the classes screen. Warden. It's a warden. It just came to me through the fog. But yeah, I'm going to try a warden next so I can make spirit of wolf, cast spirit of the wolf spells. Those are pretty handy in this game. Well, let's go hit some rats with sticks. Woo! Which is basically how they described your first gaming experience in this game. But I'm a wizard so I get to cast spells on them. Right, no. Cast your spell. Sock him up with a knife. Dagger. I wish there was like a like spin. The view, the camera view. Screenshot, that was helpful. Woo! But you got first and third person. Thank <laughs> you. 
People didn't make it. Ooh, what's up? There we go. Come on. Video. That's bad form. Okay, get in here. Did I kill it? Ooh, I got it before he got me. Nice. So yeah, getting <clears throat> Project 1999 set up, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult for some, but if you stick to it and pay attention, it, uh, oh, my spirit wolf is gone. Dang it. Someone gave it to me. But, uh, um, yeah, so first you have to create a forum account at uh, Project 1999, and then um, they... I googled, uh, I think, uh, they call it EverQuest Titanium Edition download, because that's the version you need, and you can readily find that. Someone had it on uh, a Google Drive, all five CD ISO images, so I just downloaded those, and then you mount each one and run the setup, and mount each one as it calls for the disk, and point it to that, and install that into its own separate folder. <clears throat> But don't run that game. Don't try, don't let it patch. Because um, then you have to download the titanium launcher files from the Project 1999 website. Once you have your forum account created, you'll be able to download that. And then you uh, download and put that into uh, the folder that you put the uh, EverQuest Titanium Edition files into and overwrite the files with that. And there's some files, there's like five files that you have to remove from that folder once you're done. From the game, it's listed on the website as well. And then um, the final step is to create your login account from the Project 1999 website. Uh, separate from your forum account, you create your uh, login name and password. And then once you do that, you run the... Uh, batch file called uh, launch titanium I think and that will launch EverQuest 1999 properly and you can go ahead and create your characters or log into your game from there okay let's get back to it almost about to level I want to ding here get him Some, get some. Ran right past me. Go. <laughs> I'm here, you little rat. Get him. Oh, barely got this game set up. Customized my graphics. I made a couple of tweaks online that I found out about. But ding! There it is.
Cool. So yeah, head on to the links that I provided in the description, and um, you can get set up with the account. You can uh, download the EverQuest Titanium files and the whole bit. And hopefully we'll see you in here. All right. Thanks for stopping by, and you have a great one. Later.